Our big focus this Sunday morning, Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be inaugurating the vibrant Gujarat Summit today. From a modest business fair in 2003, the summit has emerged as one of the biggest business fairs of the country. This year's edition will be attended by United Nations General Secretary Ban Ki-moon and U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry, among other world leaders from at least 20 countries. Some big-ticket announcements are expected at the summit, including ones by Reliance India Chairman Mukesh Ambani on the KG Basin and 4G networks. Vodafone 2 is likely to announce further investments in the Indian telecom market. Along with that, uh, the United Nations is likely to sign an energy agreement with the Gujarat government. The last six summits have secured MOUs worth nearly 40 lakh crore rupees. But the opposition Congress claims that a little over 9% of these have materialized into investments. This year, the vibrant Gujarat summit is being touted as bigger and better than before. As Gandhi reminded us, I quote, there will be no lasting peace on earth unless... We learn not merely to tolerate, but even to respect the other faith as our own, end of quote. In 2008, I visited Razgat, where Gandhi's remains were cremated in my capacity as Secretary General. But before that, while serving in New Delhi, in Korean Embassy, I visited so many times. मैं मानता हूं कि इस बार का वाइब्रेंट गुजरात इस प्रकार के लोग दुनिया भर से आ रहे हैं वो बहुत ही सफल रहने वाला है 2015 का जो इवेंट है इट्स अ ग्लोबल इन्वेस्टमेंट मीट सो हमने एक बिजनेस डेस्टिनेशन बनाया है जैसे दाओस वर्ल्ड का एक बिजनेस मीटिंग का ग्राउंड है टॉप लीडर्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड कम डाउन ओवर द एंड डिस्कस इश्यूज ऐसे ये वाइब्रेंट। We want to make it a दाउस। All right, these are live visuals that we're getting you from the vibrant Gujarat summit. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has arrived at the venue. श्रीमती आनंदी बेन पटेल। Mr. Sering Tokyo. These are live visuals that we're getting you. Dignitaries from around the world, along with corporate leaders from from world over, have gathered here in Gujarat for the vibrant Gujarat summit. Over the years, this summit has seen investments worth lack of crores, but uh, the opposition claims that few of them, only 9% of them have translated into real-time investments. But expectations from this year's summit are extremely high, considering that uh, Narendra Modi has now moved from uh, being the Chief Minister of Gujarat to the Prime Minister, and investors are hoping that he will pave the way and uh, ease investments into the state. Of the seventh vibrant Gujarat Global Summit. Top dignitaries uh, like the biennial event organized by UN General Secretary Ban Ki Moon and uh, US Secretary of State John Kerry are at the summit. Big announcements also expected uh, from business leaders. Let's for a second listen into what's happening there right now. Which has established a benchmark for corporate and social investments and has witnessed the renewed confidence of corporate sector for investment in Gujarat. We are honored to have with us today Honorable Prime Minister of India, Shri Narendra Bhai Modi, who conceptualized and created this event and transformed it into the business gateway of India to inaugurate this seventh edition of Vibrant Gujarat Global Summit. We begin this inaugural session with an invocation to Lord Ganesha, in which the contemporary Sanskrit poet prays, Maharatasya Vikasaya Vishwabandhutva Vidmahe Gnana Vignana Siddhyartham Ganeshaya Namo Namaha. Meaning, for the development of India, we have chosen the path of brotherhood. Let wisdom, science, knowledge, and technology light our path. We bow down to you, Lord Ganesha, the remover of all obstacles. This will be followed by the song Jai Jai Garvi Gujarat, written by famous poet of Gujarat, Veer Kavi Narvad, glorifying the dignity of Gujarat. The song and the prayer will be performed by Distinguished artists of Samanvai, led by internationally renowned music composer Sri Gaurang Vyas.
live visuals that we're getting you from uh, the vibrant Gujarat summit Prime Minister Narendra Modi there uh, in Gandhi Nagar the summit is we being attended by top world leaders okay. and uh, corporates big ticket announcements expected to be made we'll keep getting you live updates uh, from the ground we're lined up on headlines today do stay with us <laughs> 